Now let's look at uh, have a further look at our getter and setter methods by adding those methods to this code for the employee class and we'll see how it is how it is different to call the instance methods and print the details in our instance methods and how we are calling the two string method over here so I will add the public void set first name it will require a string parameter and the role of the setter method is to assign the value to the instance variable you can also use validation over here as well I will create a setter method for the last name ideally we'll have the setter methods and the getter methods for all of our instance variables and they work the same as our constructor it is the assign the values that we have passed to them to our instance variables and we can have the setter and getter methods for the date objects as well and it will be receiving a, an object of the date class Date. This is a birth date, so I will try. That this keyword, as you can see, differentiates between our variable of our instance variable and our local variable. And similarly, I'll have set higher date method that receives an object of the date class. And assigns date to or higher debt variable now I will add the getter methods public string get first name and it will simply return a string to me you can add that this keyword with the return statement as well but it won't make any difference to the code get last name and we understand that it used to return a string doesn't make any difference if you use the this keyword if you don't because it cannot access the local variable of the setter method over here public dead get birth dead it will need to return an object of the date class and finally 
we'll have a get method for returning the higher date of the employee return higher date if let's look at this getter setter methods again the setter method is used to initialize or assign the value that we have passed as parameter to this and it is assigned to our instance variable if maybe we need to uh, we want to change these initial values then we can use the setter methods and if we want to get these values or individual values we can use the getter methods now if i print this object again the only method that is implicitly being called is the two string method the other methods in this class those methods will not be called implicitly if i print this object it will ca only call the two string method and print the details of the two, two string method if i were to call the uh, other methods of the employee class i would need to explicitly call those methods individually so for example i want to maybe change the last name of this employee i will need to call the set last name method of that employee and i will need to change uh, I will need to pass a variable I will need to pass an argument that will be passed on to this set last name method and assigned to the last name variable replacing the value that was there in the last name variable earlier that we set through the constructor as you can see that if I need to use the other methods I will need to explicitly call them through the object now this is an explicit call to the set last name method and this is an implicit call to the two string method you do not need to write the name of the method it will implicitly call the two string method now if I want to print the last name or if I want to print the details of the employee without the two string calling the two string method I will need to call all of the methods implicitly you can use the printer for print ln so for the first time I will be calling get first name method and now this was something I did not need to do for the two string method similarly for the last can see that we'll need we need to call each method separately one by one get higher that now this one I will remove this statement now we'll see that to get maybe same or the similar output we are calling each method individually we 
as we can see over here we are getting the sim, uh, a similar kind of an output by explicitly calling each getter method that gets us the value of the variable that we are trying to call and we if we need to change anything we can do that by calling the set method for the variable that we want to change and passing the new value for that variable as we are doing over here for the last name of the employee and if you maybe want to display both can output over here put using the two string method now this line over here this statement over here calls the two string method implicitly and displays the details of the employee class for this object if I run this now we will get both kinds of details for this one I needed to call four different methods and for this one I do not need to call the different methods I am simply directly printing the details by just calling the two string method now this is the same as calling the two string method this will work the same it will make no difference that is why we said that it is implicitly calling the two string method as we can see the displays the same output even if I call the method explicitly like this one or if I do not call the method implicitly it will automatically call the two string method and display those details over here so hopefully you would understand the difference between the two string method and the other methods that are there in our class that if we need the other methods we will need to call them explicitly like this like this one using the dot operator but for the two string method that is built-in method in the class we do not need to call that explicitly